Hi everyone, back here for another video. I received many questions on how is it to use Microsoft Excel on the iPad, and I can understand where these questions are coming from since Excel is heavily used by many people in different type of work, and this can be from a simple user and of course up to the advanced users. In today's video, I want to do some tests and we can all see together if we can use or not the iPad to work on Excel worksheets. And just a note before you continue watching, just want to say I'm a simple user and I will not work on complex worksheets in this video. I mainly use Google Sheets because, well, first it's free and as we know historically, Microsoft Office is quite expensive to purchase. So in this video, we will test if I can use Excel and Google Sheets together and see if maybe I and maybe you also don't need to purchase a Microsoft subscription. Of course, at work or in school, there may be times and maybe a lot of times when we need to work with each other and specifically work on an Excel file together. Does it mean I have to purchase a Microsoft subscription to do that? Let's test together our options if I can edit an Excel file using my iPad and not a laptop and without paying for Microsoft 365 subscription. First, let's do a test where I receive the Excel file as an attachment via email. I have here a simple file with some data, columns, drop-down list, pivot table, and a slicer. I personally use Spark as my email app, but for this test, I downloaded Gmail as well to see how it looks like. In Spark email app, this is how it looks like when I open the attachment. I cannot switch between the different sheets in Excel, while in Gmail, I can toggle between the sheets. But anyway, it doesn't matter because in both email apps, I can open the Excel file using Google Sheets. And I will open the file in Apple's unique way, which is using the share icon that may be at the bottom or the top, depending on the app you're using. And then I can choose to open the Excel file in Google Sheets. But before I can open it, it will ask me to save it in Google Drive first. And you may ask, why don't I use the Excel app on the iPad? The app is in the App Store, right? And so I downloaded it and well, I can view the file but I cannot edit it. It will ask me to save a copy so I can edit, but if I try to save a copy, it will ask me to sign in. And when I sign in, it will say I need a Microsoft 365 subscription and I don't have one. So yeah, I cannot edit the Excel file. Now let's go into Google Sheets and as we see here, I can go through the file and I can also edit it and switch between the sheets. So it's looking good and it seems like if I receive an Excel file and I don't have Excel on my iPad, I can still work on it using Google Sheets. Well, kind of, but not quite. Although at first look, it seems I can see all the data and I can edit it. For example, I have the drop down list here in the column of the categories, and I can also edit the list in the drop down by updating the source sheet here, which is the third sheet. However, in the other sheet, this is where some of the limitations come up because I cannot edit the pivot table and it seems like I've lost the slicer as well. But I'm not losing hope as I know this is not the end of the line because there is another way I can do, which is to edit using Google Sheets in web app. And this is where I can try to edit the pivot table. I go to Google Sheets via Safari and I already have the link bookmarked so I can go directly to the Google Sheet dashboard or also known as the desktop app. This link helps me open sheets on the web and it won't force me or direct me to the iPad app. In the web app or the desktop version, I can see the familiar option similar to Excel. Now when I click on the pivot table, I can now see the pivot table editor and other options and suggestions will also show so I can edit it. The slicer option though still disappeared so let's try to add it back. The option is there but when I try to use it, it looks like this. It's, it's a mess. So I think the slicer is something we can still do but not that fully functional on the iPad. I'm pretty sure it works well when you use it on a laptop or on a desktop. 
Anyway, for the sake of this test, I highlighted with a different color the changes I made so we can easily see it once I send this file back to the sender. So I will email this back, sending it as an attachment as well, and I can do that by getting the file from my Google Drive. And here in the email, as we see, it shows the file is in Excel format, so I think we're good to go. We'll now move on to the receiver and see how it looks like. Now moving to the receiver who is using a Windows laptop and received the Excel file saved in Google Sheets. When I open the attached file, it opens in Google Sheets format as we see here. What I can do then is to download this and so I can open it in Microsoft Excel. And aside from the slicer fail, um, I think for me this is a success. Even if it takes quite a few more steps, it looks like I can edit Microsoft Excel on my iPad using Google Sheets. There is another way to use Excel on the iPad and there's no need to pay for the Microsoft 365 subscription and that is by signing up on the free version. Or a guest user can also edit the Excel file that is shared by a Microsoft user and that's through using the Excel online version. I have made a detailed video on this, so check it out if you're interested to know more about using the Microsoft 365 free version. That's it. Thanks for watching.